Welcome back to the backyard. I'm hungry. And you know what? I'm making me some pepperoni rolls. Ooh, I want some good ones. All right. I went on Amazon. I got this pizza stone. It's kind of thick. It looks good. Look at that. All right. So it's brand new. We're going to put it in the, put it in, put it in the smoker. In the smoker. The dirty smoker. Hey, listen. Affiliate link below. All right. Look. It fits in there. It fits in there good. I could have got a bigger one. But the problem with the bigger one is I want it to fit in the direct fire side at some point, right? So if I put it in the direct fire side, if it's any bigger, it won't fit. That one's perfect for what I got to do, son. All right, let's list off some ingredients. We got some dough balls, all right? We got a stick of butter. You'll see what I need the butter for later. That butter needs to be melted, right? A visible garbage can. She'll clean that mess up later. Butter needs to be melted. We're going to stick this in here now. Just for a little bit. Oh, by the way, by the way, the smoker, 475. All right, there you go. So we got some dough balls. These dough balls, just go to your local like grocery store. Hook yourself up, all right? You guess if you had a bread maker or you wanted to actually make these at home, you could, but dough balls. Take your dough balls out of the package, kind of knead them just a little bit, and then let them warm up a bit. Don't bring them out here cold. You don't bring cold stuff into the backyard. At least not that. All right. This ain't an ingredient. But I think this is like Pampered Chef, maybe? If you got to use this shit, you don't know what you're doing. Invisible garbage can. All right. More tools because we're not getting ingredients. We're going to need this brush in a little bit. This brush is important for that butter. All right. We got it. A knife. All right. A pizza cutter. Now we're going to ingredients. Look at this pepperoni, son. Look at that pepperoni. Look at the pepperoni. Can you see it back here? Oh, I hope you can see that pepperoni, son. All right. You don't buy the little pepperonis. Look at this pepperoni. It's a big one. All right. Let's put this off the side. You got some parsley because you want to dress it up. Some granulated garlic. All right. I call this the GG sauce. This is the Gigi sauce, all right? The mozzarella cheese. Some of you donkeys are going to get mad. I buy it in a bag. Listen, we're in a backyard. You in the kitchen, you sit there with a grater with the kitchen egg. This is about a half cup, maybe three-fourths cup of flour. And equal part flour to cornstarch. That cornstarch is important. It'll do you good. You don't have cornstarch. I guess if you use corn meal. I don't really care. This guy here is going to be sticky, so we're going to use, look what we're going to use. We're going to use this scraper. And you want to know what? You like this scraper? It's a Blackstone one. Fill the link below. All right. So you take this dough ball, you're going to set it down there. I don't need all these dough balls right now. All right. This dough ball here, first thing you're going to do, get yourself some flour, right? You're going to flour this guy up. My wife is looking at this mess like, oh my God, I'm going to have to clean up all that flour. Yes, you are. All right, we got our flour. Now listen, when I worked at a pizza place, there's this little mold to get your circle started. We don't have that. I'm not pushing straight down, guys. I'm turning as I push. I'm making little circles, right? And if I need more flour, I'll get me some more flour, right? I'm going to need more flour. Look at this. All right. Make yourself little circles with it, right? Make sure this doesn't move too much. Make yourself little circles. No rolling pin needed here. Take it. You can flip it. This dough's not ready for that yet. It's been 20 years since I made one of these. Keep on going, though. This dough here, I think these are 15-ounce dough balls, all right? Let's see. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Just my fingertips. What I'm doing is I'm just stretching this dough out. Just stretching the dough out. And it don't have to be perfectly circled, guys. And through the power of editing, this dough ball is going to be complete. Hold on, hold on. You got to throw your dough ball, son. That looked like hell. But it is what it is. All right, listen. Get it out there. Round it out a little bit. Right? Do whatever you're going to do. If you see it start to thin out in the middle, that's fine. Start working the edges a bit. 
I don't care what shape this is in, because we got a lot of work left to do with it. And I don't really care how much flour hits it. And remember, we got three more dough balls. So whatever we do here, we're going to do a few more times, right? So through the power of editing, this part, actually through, through the power of my damn hands, son, you know, this part's going to be done right here on the camera, I think, right? It's just going to get done. Look, that's the thin side. Don't spend so much time there. Mm, 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 mm. You know what I got to worry about now, Jess? Is how long it took me to complete. Look at that. That's horrible. They would have fired me at the pizza place. There you go. Look. That doesn't look so bad. The butter. Probably going to burn my damn hand off. It is. That's all right. We got other tools and shit in here, son. Look at this. Redneck fashion. It's huge. It's huge like me, son. All right. Don't burn your damn hands off. We're just going to stick that over here. That's important. We need that. We need it not to burn our damn hands off. All right. So you got your butter. You got your food. Just butter this up. Right? Get it slathered up. Put some flavor in it. You know what butter is? Butter is flavor, son. The more butter that you get behind here, the harder the next one's going to do. So be careful. Be careful. What do I got? Three more to do? Two more to do after this? It's fine. Look at that. Look at that, sir. Look at that. I don't know if they can see it. But that looks delicious already. Guys, we're going to hit it with the GG sauce, all right? Need a little GG sauce. Be careful with the GG sauce. You want the side with the holes, not the big hole. And you're just going to sprinkle her on there. Get high. Get high. There you go. A little bit of garlic didn't hurt nobody. Take your pizza cutter. This is an important part with this pizza cutter. All right? Most important part is with the pizza cutter. Is that you don't do it yet. Oh. First, you got to hit it with the pepperoni, all right? And remember, we got these big pepperonis. And what we're going to do is we're going to line the outside just like this. Maybe put them a little closer together because I like pepperoni. I like fat people's food. Who doesn't like fat people's food? My wife's back there taking pictures. I don't know why. But here we go. All the way around the circle. Boom, son. That part's done. All right, look. This don't, hopefully, this is a ghetto-ass pizza cutter. That's all right, though. It's going to work because I said so. That's right. We cut it before it goes in the oven. Oven. We cut it before it goes in a smoker. Listen, let's be real clear. It's a pellet smoker, so sometimes it's kind of like an oven, right? Cheese melts it goes a long way all right don't put any cheese in the middle try to keep the cheese around the outside edge and trust me more is like less is more type thing with the cheese don't worry you'll love it you'll love me for this recipe it's really easy too all right look almost done right good to go now all we're going to do is curl these up curl them up curl them up wow Look at that, sir. See that little nipple at the bottom? We're going to just dip it in there. Right? We're going to close her up. I don't know if you all saw it, but I got this little fork. We're going to take this fork and we're just going to score it just a little bit. And we're going to set her down. Just like that. All right? That one's done, sir. That one's done. You can't get no better than that. Look, I cheated myself out of some cheese right there. All right. I'm going to do this one the same way. Just keep turning it. Go slow. Take this guy. Stretch him around. Look at Stretch Armstrong. There you go. Hold on. What's that? Mmm. That's mine. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just keep lining them up. 
I'm going to do that for all of these, right? Okay, so I went ahead and I did all of the dough balls the same way, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of butter on each little piece. I bet you I don't, even, I don't have to. Just a little bit. Just a little bit on each piece. It's all right. You want a little bit more, you put a little bit more. You want a little bit less, put a little bit less. But make sure you put a little bit. You, I guess if you're a pastry chef, you're going to want to do a better job at this than I am. But if you're a pastry chef, you ain't watching this shit anyways, right? So it is what it is. There you go. Take your little uh, your little Gigi sauce, right? Make sure you got the one with the little holes, not the big holes. And just sprinkle that shit on the whole thing. Look at that. Oh, garlic. You can't have enough garlic, all right? You know, uh, I have some cheese left over. There's some pepperonis now mixed in with my cheese. Dude, it don't got to be pretty. I don't even care if it sticks. All right, it might not. It don't matter. It's going to be all right. Just get rid of everything you have, all right? Who cares? You're in the backyard. These guys here are going in there. This is set up for four seventy-five. I just looked down. It says it's four seventy-seven. We're going to put them in there for seven minutes. We're going to see how these look. All right. That's start your countdown timer. Seven minutes. Looks like we're doing these in batches. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back. It's the second batch. I don't know if I'll show you the first batch. I don't know. They look good. Don't worry about it. I took them and I put them on this warming tray, right? And then I stuck them over here. Ooh, that's going to burn my finger off. Hold on. I stuck them over here on the direct fire side. I put the direct fire side on low to keep them hot. The kids took about half of them already. Who am I fooling? I ate them, son. They took just a couple. All right. No, they took half of them, all right? I'm being a nice guy. These guys in here, oh my God, look at them. Now listen, if you want these to be like a golden brown, you put more butter on them, right? If you're just happy with them being whatever they are, you do it exactly like I did it. You just kind of scrape them off, boom. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Guys, as time goes on, and this pizza stone, what people call it's seasoned, right? These are going to come off even easier. You'll, you'll start to appreciate it. You won't have to scrape as much. Hell, you, you probably will never need a piece of scraper if you cheese in your stone. Look at that. It went all the way back there. That sucks. Got them anyways. All right, guys, listen. I got it. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Oh, my goodness. Like I was saying, though, with time, this stone here, it's going to season in, right? You're going to say, oh, my God, that stone is stained. You need to clean that stone. You put water on that stone, I'm going to beat you, son. You take a scraper, you scrape it out, you put it in the oven for maybe 500 degrees, let all the bad juju burn off. Before you use it next time, you do the same thing, all right? You just uh, scrape it up, do you, right? Come back. Put in the oven, smoker, whatever, for a little bit of time. Guys, look at this. Some of these are from before. They have parsley on them. Look at this. The lighting here sucks. Oh, yeah. But look at that. You want it golden brown, you put more butter on it, right? I don't need all that butter. Let me see how these things taste, though. Hold on one second. All right? Mm, 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 mm. Any, meeny, miny, mo. Parsley. You eat the parsley. It's going to add, like, a little tang to your thing. Mm. Mm. Don't buy that cheap pepperoni, neither. You got to buy this pepperoni. Go to the deli. Look at all that pepperoni and cheese. You know, this shit isn't hard. You know, realistically, 
the, the longest it took me to make this was waiting on like the smoker to get hot. It to cook it. It's easy stuff. You cook this in your kitchen too. Same same rules. Put it in the oven. Guy, welcome back to the backyard. Thanks for coming back. I don't give a shit if I talk with my mouth full. Do some good stuff. I'll see you next time in the backyard. Get the fuck out of here.